Good day, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. We have our final beer brought to me from Hector. Bucanero Fuerte, or Bucanero Strong, Bucanero Buccaneer. 5.4% uh, alcohol, brewed by the Cerveza Bucanero in Cuba. 350 milliliter bottle, so bigger than the 341 or 330s you normally get here. Is it twist off? I don't know. No, pop. I figured it would be a pop off, but I mean it's the first bottle of what he brought me. Gonna pour it into the Stella glass. So we see it did have some head, it's fading fairly rapidly. It is mm, very light amber, it's the dark bronze, go bronzy gold, starting into that slightly orangish hue. Uh, the head's pretty much gone already. It actually has a Euro lager smell. It has that uh, sweet malt mixed with the very bitter, dirty, wet hop smell. The the skunky smell, if you would. The green bottle smell. That's what it has. It's in a brown bottle. A uh, fairly dark brown bottle. So that smell slightly disturbs me. But... We'll accept it anyway. The sweet malt smell that comes off of it is really nice. It's that uh, hop smell that I'm not too, too fond of. What the hell is in my pocket? Huh. Let's give it a try. Five point four percent alcohol, so it's stronger than the average lager here. It tastes just like an average lager here, but it has the Euro lager sensibilities to it. Starts off malty, nice and soft, nice and smooth. Goes across the tongue beautifully. Uh, goes down your throat. Then you get the like green bottle touched taste. You get that bitter skunky flavorings in the back of your throat. But they don't last, they like slip down your throat and then they're gone. It's actually kind of nice. It's a dry finish. Once you're done the sip, you get the bitter skunky hops for a few seconds, like two or three. Then even the bubbles just stop in your throat and you're left with a mouth waiting for more beer. So, I mean, they didn't make the best beer here, but it makes me want to drink more. And that's worth something. It was like a dollar a bottle, I think Hector said. Oh, I forgot a drop. So at a dollar a bottle, this is better than most of the dollar brews you can get here. I really like that label. I'm going to do my best to get it off this bottle and onto my label wall back there. And there's nothing really to say. I mean, it's an average lager. It has a nice taste. Uh, it's not bad. It's 
it doesn't really hold a candle to the craft brews you can get here or in the States. It doesn't really hold a candle to many of the average lagers you can get here and in the States. But compared to the dollar beers and some of the average lagers, this thing is as good or better for a lot cheaper and from a country that isn't really known for making beer. So, I'm really excited that I got to try these. The more I drink this, the less of the Euro Lager green bottle taste I get and more of the malt that I get. And the more malt I get off of this, the more I like it. I love how it just finishes clean. Really? I'd give this a B. I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. It's a B minus. And it really deserves every mark it got. The best of all the ones from Cuba I've tried thus far. I hear there's a whole bunch of other Cuban beers there that are more local specialties and each different province has its own local specialties that you can't get in the other provinces. So I'm going to have to acquire them from other people. But this is actually a fairly good beer. Uh, thank you for watching the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Bucanero Forte from Cuba. 7 out of 10.